Hello, Eva here with Eva Levay Arts, and I have this traveling art journal that came to me from Vicki up in Canada. So I'm going to start by taping off the spine and using some deli pages behind the pages that I'll be painting on to protect the rest of the book. And I'll just tape those in place, and then I'll go ahead and get started. And I found this really cool paper in my Seven Gypsies scrap pack, junk pack, and I'm going to cut it down to size and then set it aside and do some painting with some of the Tattered Angels high impact paint for my background. And I'll have the colors that I'm using in the description below. This one is light blue. And uh, I know that I'm going to be covering a big part of it with the pattern paper, so I'm not going to bother covering the whole page, just the parts that I know will be visible. Next, I'll add some wheat. And this is a really light color. It kind of reminds me of the color that you'd get with like a vanilla folder or manila folder. I think that's what it's called, <laughs> not vanilla. Yes, it looks like vanilla ice cream too. So that's probably what I was thinking of. So yeah, just adding some more color. Here is some olive, also the high impact paint. And it doesn't need to be neat. I'm just kind of being messy and getting the color on there. And I'll give that a quick dry with my heat gun. And then I decide that that green is just a little too dark, maybe a little too bright. So I'm adding some white metallic high impact paint on top of it. And that will help tone it down as well as give it a nice metallic sheen. And I'm putting that all over the page and giving that a dry as well. Next, I'll use the brown high impact paint and a makeup sponge to just add an edge to my layout. And this uh, makeup sponge is kind of falling apart on me. So after I do the page, I'll also add an edge to the pattern paper, but I'll use my finger instead. There I go, starting with my finger. And that's where I'm gonna place it, just kinda of looking at how it looks with the colors I've added so far. I think it works. I always look at the colors that are in my pattern paper before I decide which colors I want to use with the rest of the page, just hoping to get some coordinating colors. Give that a quick dry and then I'll adhere it to the page with my glue stick. This is my favorite glue stick. It's the Uhu, what I call Uhu, U-H-U. -U. And then I'll grab my bone folder and score down the center of the page and fold it just to make sure I get a nice fold. Make sure my edges are sticking down nicely. Next, I'll add some splatters with the Tattered Angels baseboard paint. And usually this is a last step, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this before I add my writing, just so I make sure I don't mess up my quote with splatters. And I'm going to write my quote in with a charcoal pencil because it's easy to erase. And the quote is, I haven't gone everywhere, but it's on my list. And that's by Susan Sontag. And it's so true. I want to travel more, see some more of the world. Um, so since this little book is traveling around the world, I'm kind of a little jealous of this book. <laughs> so I wanted to 
use the theme of travel since that pattern paper had a bunch of street signs of places that I'd like to go. Some of them I may have been to already. Not very many since it seems like a lot of them are in either California or New York. I haven't been to either one of those yet. So I'll ink my quote with a Pentel pocket brush pen and a Fude Ball 1.5 pen for variety. And both of these are permanent once dry. So you'll just want to make sure that once you've finished inking your words that it's completely dry before you attempt to erase any of the pencil you have underneath. So next I cut out this little moth from this pattern paper by Seven Gypsies in the junk pack that I received in my design team package. So just going to glue that on the page and then outline it with a Stabilo All pencil and again activate that ink with the water brush to make it permanent. Love my Stabilo All pencil. And instead of cutting out the antennas, I also did just draw those in with the pen. So here I'm taking a small bowl so I can get a nice round shape. And I used a white jelly roll pen to mark it so that I could see it. And now I'm using the Tattered Angels High Impact Paint along with the round brush to paint in a compass. Kind of just sticking with the whole travel theme here and uh, yeah I just thought this was uh, an appropriate symbol for finding a way to make my traveling dreams come true so I'll go ahead and do that and then I will as soon as I'm done painting this outline it with my food a 1.5 or Fude Ball 1.5 pen and uh, the Stabilo All pencil again and then I'll be done. So I'll just let you finish watching that and I will pretty much be done with this after that and I appreciate you stopping by and watching. If you're interested in any of these products you can find them on the Canvas Core Brands website. I'll have all the links below in the description. And uh, also be sure to check out the Canvas Core Brand blog, which I'll also have a link to in the description below. And you'll be able to find a bunch of other people who are playing along in this traveling art journal and see some more pages and get some more inspiration. So thanks again for for watching and leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and some love in the comments below. Thanks so much. Bye.